Welcome to Reality Business Consulting's Be Real video tutorial series on how to manage your website with the WordPress Content Management System or WordPress CMS. The topic of this tutorial is WordPress CMS Basics Adding and Managing Images Part 2. Before we place the image I want to suggest something. Always upload your images to the media library so you can easily retrieve them. If they're only stored on your local computer, say at work or at home, you're not going to be able to retrieve them if you're working outside of the home or office. This way, if your images are in the media library, you can retrieve them anytime and use them throughout your site anytime. So let's get to it. Let's place this image. We need to select the Pages option so we can get a list of all the pages on our site. We want to place the image in our test title page we created in earlier tutorials. Let's select Edit. The next thing we want to do is identify where we want to place this image. So with our mouse, we want to select somewhere in the content where we want to place it. Let's select here at the end of this paragraph. Then you'll notice above the toolbar there is Upload and Insert section. We want to select the first one which is Add an Image. We are then prompted by a screen that we're familiar with, but we want to select the Media Library tab where we uploaded our image initially. Let's select Maline Lake which we had uploaded. Select Show and you'll see that these are the vitals of the image we had initially uploaded. You can actually edit the image from this screen as well. If we scroll down we will see where we can align the image and where we want to place it and size it. So we want to align the image to the right, keep it at its full size, and then we want to insert it into post. They use the word post here but it's actually inserted into page as well. So insert it into post and we'll see the image appear. Now what we want to do here is we want to update or save what we have in place. Then as suggested in earlier tutorials we want to right click and open a new tab. That way we can see what the image looks like and there it is. What we notice here is the image is placed maybe looks a little too big but we also notice that the caption is underneath the image. So let's go back to our screen, scroll down a bit, expand this as we learned in earlier tutorials, select the image and you'll see two options here in the left and right, delete and edit. Let's edit this image and we have some functionality here to edit as well. We can actually reduce the size of this image by scrolling down the bar here. Let's bring it down to 60%. Select Update. You'll notice the image was reduced proportionately. And let's select Update on this screen. And then let's go back to our test title page and select Refresh. There we go. That looks better. So what we have here is we have our image to the right and the caption underneath. Let's go back to our page. So we're going to update, we're going to save it, and that's it. You've now learned how to add an image to a page on your website. This concludes our Be Real video tutorial on adding and managing images part 2. If you need more support on this topic, please visit the following website for more information. If you or someone you know is looking for a marketing and sales consultant, please visit our website or contact Reality Business Consulting. We can help your company or organization with website development, marketing and sales planning and implementation. Until the next tutorial, be real.